YouTube, what is up? Thanks for joining me today. This is Greg Scott, and today we are going to go over six tips on how to build your Instagram page the proper way, the proper way. So come back and check it out. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna go over six tips, okay? Six tips of my own that I have written down that I have found out personally. Now, I'm not some guru on Instagram by any means. I don't know everything about Instagram. I don't know all the ins and outs. There are guys that are way more popular than I am out there. But I have found a couple of ways to get quite a few followers pretty quickly. And it's an organic way, it's a healthy way, it's definitely not a skeezy way. And you know, unfortunately I see a lot of individuals out there doing it a really skeezy way. And you know, if they wanna do it that way, that's fine, that's, that's on them, whatever. But I also see YouTubers out there as well and Instagrammers giving really, in my opinion, the wrong advice. I, I'll be just very blunt, it's crap advice in my opinion um, because it gets away from the idea of social media, so the social part of it, um, or the engagement part of it. And, you know, I think that that's what we're missing, okay? We're missing the engagement part of Instagram, Facebook. I mean, everybody's just getting on there and all they want is followers, and that's it. And there's no communication with the community. There's no building or helping or supporting a community. And that's what Instagram is made of, is a community. It's, a made, it's made up of people, okay? So anyways, so let me go ahead and get into it. The first thing that you can really help build your Instagram page is number one, by posting content regularly. There are people that have followed you or potentially are going to follow you and they're gonna be looking forward. They're gonna be super stoked about the content that you post up. That's the reason why they started following you in the first place. So post up regularly, that's number one. Number two, as soon as someone comments on one of your uh, pictures, now I wrote this down on my phone by the way so that I could remember everything here, but as soon as someone comments on one of your photos, comment them back, Com reply back to their comment and say, hey, thanks so much for your comment, I appreciate it, that's encouraging, I love you long time. And that's awesome because what that does is that retains the audience, it shows that you actually care about communicating with the people that follow you. It shows that you're a real person. I mean, honestly, I mean, a lot of this is just showing that you're a real person. So stick with me. Number three, if someone DMs you, which is a message on Instagram, if someone DMs you, do not let it sit for like a stinking year. Are you serious? Like get back to them immediately or as soon as you can. Now, if you have like a bajillion followers, okay, there, yeah, I, I kind of understand that it's difficult to, you know, uh, respond to everybody that reaches out to you. But you know, for the for the smaller guys and girls out there, if you've got people messaging you, message them back. It, this just shows that yet again that you are a legit down to earth person, that you're real, and that you actually care about engaging with your audience, basically. So, all right, cool. So let's, let's move on. Number four, if someone follows you, reach out to them immediately. Just send them a quick message and say, hey, thanks so much for the follow. Even if you're not gonna follow them back, just reach out to them and show them some love. Show the love that they, in, in, basically in return, uh, by reaching out and acknowledging that they followed you and you, you saw it. Hey man, I saw that you followed me. Thank you so much for your support. That's all you need to do. And that, that really speaks volumes to people. Trust me. All right, number five. All right, here's a long one, okay? So leave other people that you're not even friends with comments. Okay, maybe it was shorter than I thought. <laughs> you know, when you're scrolling around and you're looking at different hashtags for things that you're interested in and whatnot, and you come across a photo that you really enjoy, Leave a comment on that photo. There's a possibility, a very good possibility, to be honest with you, that you're going to gain a follower if you actually engage with that photo and that individual that, that put that or posted that photo up or has that same similar like as you do. 
you might get a follow out of it if you just drop a comment on one of their photos and say, hey, awesome photo, love your content, keep it up, keep up the awesome work. And you know, yet again, that shows that you're a legit person, that you're real and that you're, you're concerned about the community and engaging with the community. All right, so my nose starts to itch while I start talking. I have no idea, oh my gosh. Okay, so the sixth and final tip. Um, this is, I think, a really, really big one. If you're gonna follow people to get followers back, make sure that you're following individuals that you're gonna wanna see their feed and their photos and the things that they post. I think that's so important because that, that actually eliminates the, the fact where you're cluttering up your feed with nonsense. You definitely don't wanna clutter up your feed with nonsense. Don't just go down the line of someone's friends list and just go follow, 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 follow without looking at their page. I think it's so important that you actually look at their page and make sure that you're meshing with these people, that you have similar interests as these people because you're not gonna wanna see all this junk on your Instagram feed. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up unfollowing all these people and then they're gonna unfollow you and you're just gonna lose followers and it's just gonna be really counterproductive. Seriously, it's just, and it's not, I don't think this is good for Instagram anyways when people are doing the follow and then unfollow thing as soon as they're followed back. I mean, I, it's just really unhealthy for Instagram. It ruins it for a lot of people because you know, for myself, I'm sitting here, you know, when somebody follows me, I'll follow them back, but then the thought that it is in the back of my head, well, they probably have a bot and they're gonna unfollow me immediately after I follow them and I'm not even gonna realize it, but there are apps that actually help you out with that to where you can see who has unfollowed you, which I do recommend that um, if you're all about building your page. Um, but anyways, so those are my six tips and I hope you guys got something from this. If you did, make sure you punch that like button or smack it, whatever floats your boat, whatever, uh, you know, whatever you're feeling. And make sure you subscribe so that you can stay updated. I've got a video, oh my gosh, man. You guys have no idea. We're about to start off a really, really cool series. Um, I'm not gonna tell you about it. It's just a complete secret. It's, it's a surprise, okay? Bottom line, you're just gonna have to wait and see. So stick around, make sure you subscribe so that you can see the videos that are coming up. Things are starting to get really awesome. So I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. See ya.